Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 279. Calcium Channel Blockers. Name some of the calcium channel blockers. Calcium channel blockers include nifedipine, verapamil, diltiazam, and amlodipine. Describe the mechanism of action of calcium channel blockers. The mechanism of action is to block voltage-dependent L-type calcium channels of cardiac and smooth muscle and thereby reducing muscular contractility. Name the calcium channel blockers in order for the most effective to least effective in vascular smooth muscle. In vascular smooth muscle, amlodipine has an equal effect as nifedipine followed by diltiazem followed by verapamil. Describe the order of calcium channel blockers from most effective to the least effective in the heart. The calcium channel blocker that is most effective on the heart is verapamil, followed by diltiazem, followed by amlodipine, just as equally as nifedipine. So basically, the order is switched in the heart, then in the vascular smooth muscle. What is a short mnemonic to help you remember that verapamil has the greatest effect on the heart? A short mnemonic is to remember that verapamil has the letter V in it, and also ventricles have the letter V in it. So V for verapamil, V for the ventricles. What are all the clinical uses of calcium channel blocker? Calcium channel blockers are used in the treatment of hypertension, angina, arrhythmias, Prinzmental angina, along with Renaud syndrome. Which calcium channel blocker is not used in arrhythmias? A calcium channel blocker that is not used in arrhythmias is nifedipine. And the primary reason for this is because nifedipine has a greater effect on vascular smooth muscle than it does on the heart. So because it's not that effective on the heart, you would generally not use it in the treatment of arrhythmias. What are some of the side effects and toxicities of calcium channel blocker? Some of the toxicities and side effects of calcium channel blocker includes cardiac depression, AV block, peripheral edema, flushing, dizziness, and constipation. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.